Well, good morning. I'm in a little bit of a quandary this morning, I'm sitting out here on the um, on a little sun deck, about to have breakfast, and um, I spoke to some people last night, and it's not looking good for me getting through the Zanskar Valley. I'm really, I'm really bummed about. They said that the road um, isn't open, that um, you can only get to the, right now there's road crews, sorry, here we go. The only option that I have, apparently trucks and things aren't using it, cars aren't using it. The only option I have was road crews are still building the road and they're working on the very first mountain pass, which is, I think, the biggest one, and that's at about 5,000 something or other meters. Um, and so you could jump on a back of a truck with the road crews and then you're on your own. Um, from the high mountain pass, you have to walk and it's about 350k. <laughs> well, it's gonna take you a month. Um, I, I can't do that without um, more logistics in place. Uh, so now, so then it was like, where do I go? How do I get to, to Lair? where I didn't really want to go to. Um, so, hmm, thought I'd have myself a big breakfast uh, and get myself set for the day and then see what we can do from there. Right oh Alright, I've had a change of hat. I put on my ideas hat. Change of hat and a change of plans. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd love to give it a shot, but I really. Hi. Oh, g'day, how are you, mate? Hi. Hey, you're not going to Lair, are you? Yes, yes. Are you? Yes. You're going to Lair? Have you already got a booking? Yes. You have a booking? Yes, booking, booking. Ah. Got room for one really good looking Australian? Yes, yes, yes. Room for me? Yes. Let's talk. <laughs> well, they'll pull me leg. <laughs> Bastards, why would they get my hopes up like that? Ooh, while I remember, good news, bad news today. Bad news, road into Zanskar, not open. Not there, no road. Good news, I got my freaking Pakistan visa today. How good's that? Also, good news, bad news. The Pakistan embassy made me pay for a tour package because they said they wouldn't let me in without being part of a tour. Ah, oh, okay then. I'll pay bloody $500 to be in a tour package. Didn't actually even submit the uh, tour package letter of invitation and I get the freaking visa. So now I got a tour package I don't want. Anyone want a tour package to Pakistan? Anyway, I've got the visa and that's great. And they granted me two months in Pakistan. So that's even better. So um, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer and closer to the Pakistan, Pakistan dreaming. I'm getting closer to Pakistan dreaming. Let's not dream about the future. Let's live in the now and right now there's not a lot of traffic, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to go. I might be walking <laughs> to there. <laughs> All righty, guys. I'll see you on the road. All right, guys. I decided to strike when they're weak. <laughs> All right, now we've got a wounded animal, so um, we got a flat tire, and these lovely guys here. Look at these three good-looking gentlemen. All from Uttar Pradesh? Yeah. All of you from Uttar Pradesh. Okay. They've kindly offered to take me the whole way to Leh. So, um, so that's cool. Um, my ideas hat worked. <laughs> so, uh, we're off to a good start. <laughs> but um, four heads are better than three. We can all figure this out. The four of us. Four. Three became four. We got a good trip ahead of us. Here we go. 
tire change number two. <laughs> okay, the repair didn't quite work out. So we're putting on this flash red one. I get it. It's red. That means we can go faster. But look where we are. Check it out. We're heading up into the mountains. It's a pretty cool little part of the world. So I'm um, just chilling in the back seat, making myself useful wherever I can. With moral support. You're doing well. You got this. You. You're still looking beautiful, Sergeant. Sergeant, <laughs> Sergeant Major. Sergeant. <laughs> setting up a little um, food tent and they're gonna cook up some noodles so um, I don't really know why I'm carrying my bag on my back <laughs> but why not <laughs> me and my bag have become best buddies so um, they're gonna set up a little tent and we'll chill in there cook up some food and then carry on a merry little way Check out this landscape. We are, it's like a desert landscape coming through. You'd be forgiven for thinking you were looking at a couple of hundred meter high sand dunes with snow on top of them. Back there is crazy, but uh, where we are at, we're at 4,700 meters right now. We came over a high pass over there that was 4,900 or just over that. Um, it's a real moonscape. I've, uh, the only time I've ever seen anything like this was um, in Bolivia. So, uh, yeah, the roads, oh my god, atrocious. Like the roads to Spiti and Kunzam Pass, they got nothing on the roads coming, um, coming through to Leh. We're still 160 k's out of Leh. It just takes hours and hours to do to go nowhere. <laughs> like they're the worst roads, and there's a back way down there where they're just hairpins. Like, and there were trucks, like multiple trucks, off the edge, just gone down. It's uh, it's a scary ride. Like <laughs> you just kind of want to get out and walk. Um, but anyway, it's uh, oh God, what are we? Seven o'clock at night. We've been going since, oh shit, 8 o'clock this morning and um, and I'd say we've probably still got another 3 or 4 hours to go. Are you guys seeing this? We're like 5,200 meters in a car with three wheels <laughs> and a space saver on a road that doesn't exist on the edge of a glacier and there's no road here, it's just mud. <laughs> <laughs> 